Welcome to Clash of Clan. This is JL. What's up, guys? I just made a Chinese video yesterday about how to use Drain and Wizard, Drain and Wizard to two star max out base. So I'm gonna make an English version. So um, before this video like replays going to be deleted because they're going to have update very soon in a couple hours later. So I'm gonna make the last video about how to use Drain and Wizard's strategy to to start max out base. I'm not confident if that is going to work out on next update because 66% to get 2 start and I really do not know like uh, yet how to get 2 start. So I will probably spend some time working out how to like strategy how to get 2 start. But anyway, let me play uh, have some replay with this. So giant and wizard strategy, you basically need to find out the base that has like expose a lot of def not defense a lot of buildings outside um, the the walls so that you can see in this space and each each actually side buildings has only like one uh, archer tower to defense so it's pretty easy to if I use two balloons over here so to destroy a max out Archer Tower, you basically use two level 6 balloons, so it's pretty simple. Two balloons if nobody is helping the Archer Tower, so just two balloons is enough. If there are someone is helping the Archer Tower, for example, there's air defense, then try to use something else. Like uh, Hawk Riders, or three or four balloons to kill one Archer Tower. So, you <coughs> excuse me. So you guys need really need to think is it worth it to use three or four balloons to kill that archer towers? Because, for example, this archer tower only cost me two balloons. So, after I destroy this archer tower, then I can actually like take all this percentage of buildings. Look at this cannon. <coughs> cannon actually does nothing to the minions. So I'm gonna use minion to take all this percentage. So how many percentage you want to take? Um, I would say about 20%. So how do you count it? Each like 2x2, two two, like a uh, collector or barrack, all this like cannon, this kind of unit, I count it as 1%. So like this camp, like army camp, I count it as 2%. Everything else I only count in 1%. It's Actually, it's a little bit more than 1%, but I don't want to be like take a risk. So I'm always taking counting as 1%. So when I want to use a like giant and wizard strategy, I like to take 20, like get 20% side buildings. And then I'm going to find a way get through the center. So the town hall. So in this case, I will choose to go um, this way. Where the uh, Archer uh, Queen actually, yeah, the Archer Queen is. So I'm going to use a jump spell and I brought four wall breaker just in case, <coughs> excuse me again, just in case that the the um, the jump spell I put the wrong place or something happens. So um, let me show you how this works out. So two balloons in the below, two left and two right. So I don't really need to worry that much because I know that they're gonna take it. Okay, let's focus on the top. <clears throat> there are two archer towers here, so I know that if I use two balloons for each, it's kind of not enough. Why? I will either get one archer tower destroyed or the other one, so I can't get both of them destroyed. Because if I only put two balloons down, then both Archer Towers and these two Expos, they're going to attack balloons. Like one of my balloons, then my balloon going to die like very fast and then they're not going to get that job done. So I use one giant. You see this giant right here? I use one giant so that they're all going to attack the giant and my balloon, two balloons, like two on each side actually, will be safely... Um, move toward the Archer Towers and then destroy them. And at the same time, I lure out the Clan Castle too. <coughs> so, um, 
Then the next step is I gather them in a pile and then destroy them all. I kill them all. So I used to bring like, uh, usually I bring 10 minions, um, about 20 archer uh, archers, 16 giants, and uh, like maybe 8 or 9 balloons. Sometimes I use hog riders, depends. For the spell, I always bring the same spell. Like two rage spell, one healing, and one jumping, and then fr uh, frozen, no, freezing spell. I always say frozen, what's wrong with me? <coughs> Alright, so, um, stealing all the side building, because this, late, like, this space is pretty easy to steal all this percentage. So, I'm going to get... Like, I, w I will do my max to steal everything. So, I fast forward a little bit. As you can see, I'm ha I'm, I'm targeting 20%. 19, 23, 25, 20, 30. Okay, right now. 30%, it's about it. I'm going to attack right here. Okay, one jump spell so that my giant will not go anywhere directly toward the defense. And a rage spell is going down, my wall breaker going in, break the wall. Actually, it's not necessary, however, just in case. And my wizard with rage spell, my wizard is crazy. Alright, so you see, all my wizards are pretty safe. Because the freezing spell and the giants in the front of it, and to getting the, to get this town hall is pretty easy. All right, so I was scared in the middle of way my queen went out. Actually, even if I didn't get a town hall, my queen will go back to get a town hall anyway. So that was like kind of a little bit risk. So, it, it actually was fine. So, I got 65%. So, if that is a new update, I can, yeah, I will try my best. I, I probably will get 66, a two start with my giant and wizard. But, I know that people will change their layout. So, I, I really don't know if that works. The giant and wizard going to be work, uh, working. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, now, let me show you the second one. Um, this layout is harder. It's a lot harder to use Giant and Wizard. The only reason I choose this layout is the town hall is pretty like right next to the wall, so that if I don't need to go deep, really deep, no, I don't need to. Like a lot of people, they like to use Pekka. If you use Pekka, you have to jump into the last wall. But if you use Wizard. Or you have Ultra Queen, you don't have to. You just need to <clears throat> get into the like second to the last wall, and then you can just use the range attack and then get the town hall. So in this one, um, it's like I I thought for a long time, and I calculated. I'm I know I'm going to attack from this direction. So if I am going to attack from this direction. Then I'm not gonna clean out this side. Why? Because my wizards and giants, like when they attacking, when they go toward the center, actually they are going to clean out the side building at the same time. So instead of actually I did it. I don't know why, but instead of actually cleaning out this side, I will spend most of my tube on the right hand side. I know that I'm not gonna attack from there. If I attack from left hand side, then then I will not gonna get enough percentage. So I'm gonna steal some percentage from the right side and from the bottom side. So let's see how I did. So I putting down one giant and four balloons. So that's like twenty space, like twenty tube space. So that's kind of wasting. I I know I knew I waste some of this. And I put in down three hog rider on this side, 
And that is the reason I'm putting full balloons and drawings because it's hard to lure out Clan Castle Truth. And then there's Queens over here. As you can see, I told you you can use two balloons to get the one Archer Tower. However, this air defense is very close. And there are many, like this Expos, the, the Wizard Tower, and Archer's, Archer Tower itself. So two balloons is going to die very quick. So I use a giant to just to tank a little bit. A couple seconds will be enough. Same thing happens on the top. Usually you're going to use a giant to tank if the building has like there are so many defense like protecting one You use a giant and two balloons or a giant with three hog riders It has to be three because hog rider has lower attack power Compared to balloons now I got this four buildings as you can see the bottom right the, the right right hand side I'm sorry the right hand side building is pretty like exposed so I can steal all this percentage okay kill the clan castle troop <clears throat> okay so a lot of people mm, I don't know if you know it to deal with the balloons, you can actually use one minion is enough. Because balloon is, does not attack air tubes, so one minion is enough to kill the balloon. It's okay. Now, here we go. We're going to clean the side building. Let me fast forward a little bit. See? Uh, there's a motor over here. I don't use Archer to get close to it. I know that Archer is going to be killed by this motor. So I'm going to use minions. I like to use minions because I can't destroy all this defense. The only defense I'm going to destroy is the Archer Tower. Because the Archer Tower attack, attack both the air troops and the ground troops. It's same thing for... <coughs> I'm sorry. Same thing happens to Wizard Tower. However, Wizard Tower has a shorter uh, attack, that like shorter range. So you you can actually use Archer to steal the percentage. Right now I'm about twenty percent, eighteen. So I'm going to attack. I know that these minions Archer is going to get about twenty one or twenty three percent. So I'm starting attack from this side. I did not expect there's a giant bomb over here. I thought there's giant bomb in deeper, but I did not expect right at here entrance. So I actually like a lot of my wizard were killed by this giant bomb. Uh, my wizard were killed about like seven, eight wizard were killed. That's like about half of my wizards were killed. But the whole point is, I have my queen. My queen will shut this town hall down by herself. Yes. There we go. That's it. When I got 50%, I surrender right away. I, I actually like the old, like, war system to, like, uh, to get a town hall for another start. I really, I don't know. 66% for me, I think it's pretty hard because I'm not max out Town Hall 10. I'm just halfway through and my king and queen, my heroes, they are pretty low levels compared to 40, level 40. So I don't feel um, this new war system, like war system is good for me. I don't know. And I heard there are level 5 dragons. Maybe people will attempt to use the air troops more. Now let me show you how enemy actually use the giant and wizard strategy. This is the first time I actually see people using giant and wizard strategy to attack a max, a seriously max out base. So this is my actually my clan leader. 
is level like all max out. The wall, the wall is getting close to max out everything. So this is pretty much max out, guys. Um, they brought actually twenty one giants and twenty two wizards and some hog riders. So let's see how this one. They use giants and wizards just like, <coughs> excuse me, just like the gold wipe strategy. No, uh, just garland and wizard strategy. No Pekka. So let's see how this work out. I really do not know how he using this one, but actually it worked out pretty well. <coughs> he using about the same strategy. He used a giant to tank and five hog rider to destroy the defense and at the same time to lure out clan, clan castle too. If I were him, I would I would try to use some balloon, but mm, I just like to use balloon to kill Clan Castle too. I don't know. It's up to you. So that's about seven giants right here on this side, and then about seven wizards on this side. Because you don't have too many giants to s split. So, it's like using two golems, one on the left, one on the right, not right, like, they're pretty close to each other. Oh, they use a golem. So, that's pretty much giant golem strategy. And then with all wizards. The reason of using giant better than golem is giant actually have pretty good attacking power. Like each giant has, like each golem and giant, they have the same attack die power. So, but each golem like take thirty space and giant only take five. If you have ten giants, that is pretty much like five hundred attacking power, and with a race spell, they can like they can one shot every almost everything. And if you have single target Infernal Tower, I think giant strategy is better than uh, uh, than Golem. Um, as you can see that um, this person is pretty low level town hall 10 because his king and queen is only level 10 and 13 and the golem is from the clan member so he actually attacked our first player and fifth play player this is also a max out base but not for the heroes and walls so but uh, let's see how they work so they he use the same strategy so it seems like the giant wizard strategy uh, is doing as good as the go wipe strategy or go wee wee strategy But you have to lure out the clan castle too. <coughs> and this time he just one shot all, released all his giants. And he did not use any golem. If you use giant and wizard, you have to bring one healing spell. Why? Because giant only have 1000 health, hit point. And Infernal Tower 
if if you infernal tower attacking you, then you don't get like heal. But if you bring one fro freezing spell and healing spell together, that's great actually for Dryan. Dryan really needs that. So this person is pretty good at Dryan and Wizard strategy. I only use <coughs> Dryan and Wizard to like hit the town hall because for me this is kind of dangerous. What if something wrong in the middle then like you can't get a lot of percentage. So I like to clean out the side building, side defense first and building first. Then I use my giant and wizard to attack this town hall. So I like to use the opposite. Because I do see a lot of time you get 49% uh, or somewhere close to it. So uh, that's really like disappointing. And this guy actually gets 60, more than 66%. So that's actually a 2 star. So again, after update, I really do not know what's like, what kind of layout will be the word based layout. So I really don't know about it, and I will like spend more time on this to see how's it gonna be like for the next that like, new strategy. Everything will be new pretty much. So um, that will be it for this time, and thank you for your watching, and see you next time.